Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am bringing you episode 17 of my regrowth series. Um, This pack is available on the Feed the Beast launcher under the third party packs tabs. Um, Last episode, what did we do last episode? Um, Did we work on, I think we worked on doing a little bit of stuff in there. So let's just go for a run. There's a couple dire wolves hanging around somewhere. It looks like there's one there. It sounded like there was a few in my basement. Still haven't disabled that config. Trying to deal with them the best I can. I'm just really sick of them surprising me in my house. Because that gets really annoying. Like It's made to be a safe area. I shouldn't have dire wolves spawning in there. Um, but yeah, anyways, I've cleared out most of this. I still have the redstone, glowstone, emerald, and... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Excuse me. Um, and the diamond all here. I didn't want to take it down just in case I need some to harvest. Over here, I have expanded these two plots so that I could spread seeds. And I've almost spread all of these seeds that are in this chest all the way up to just about a stack i'm only really spreading them once so like the closest i can get to a stack and then if i get over a stack i just throw them in the composter because i don't want over a stack i only want about a stack of each just in case it's probably something i don't really need to do but i am just for the sake of having it found this guy likes to drop emeralds every now and then i've gotten one or two from him so i'll try and keep an eye on him um but let's go take a look at what i've done um i've built a second greenhouse over there because i don't want to build this much higher than it is already i don't want it to be like really huge in the sky and like outcrop this or whatever you want to call it so oh it looks like that guy despawned cool so I built another one over there. I'll probably put like the floral flower seeds over there, the flower seeds, um, and some other miscellaneous stuff like my skeleton seed essence might go over there, or I might actually move this. Whoa, back off, creeper. Um, I might move um this floor down, like move everything down one floor. So that way the top floor I can put more stuff on. And then I plan on doing a floor underneath the water. But that will be a future project. Oh! See? Like, they should not spawn in there. That is totally not fair. They just about killed me right there. Die, you stupid dire wolves. Yeah, you guys are getting disabled. You guys are no fun. I don't even drop anything good. <laughs> um, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I've got this system all laid out. I haven't... Oh, there's more in here. Oh, that one's going to kill me. Where'd you go? Where's my food? Where's my food? Give me some regen. Totally unfair. How many more are up here? Am I going to get attacked again? I don't see any more. Okay, so we did this one last time. I put the wheat here. Potatoes, carrots, sugar cane, um, cactus... I took the water sources out because I changed all the soil from normal farmland to the garden soil. Because I found out that the garden soil will work for your basic crops too, not just your magic crops. crops. So I changed it out because the garden soil doesn't actually require water for stuff to grow on. So did the same over here, changed it all out for the garden soil. Got some brown mushrooms back here. Got my uh, nether wart, melons, pumpkins. And if we go up here, um, I have laid out 
my essence seeds. Oops. Fell in the hole. I haven't filled in the uh, breaks yet. Um, we got some nature seeds. Um, tin. Cop oh no, this is earth, fire, air, and water seeds. Sorry. And then over here we got tin, copper. No, aluminum, copper, tin, iron. And then gold, rutile, and then I'm going to put cobalt, aridite, and osmium here. And then that will probably fill up this one. But if I decide to move everything down one level, I'll be able to put, like, hopefully I might get away with doing the, like, mob essences on this level. And, like, the coal, the nether... Um, and a couple other ones like glowstone, redstone, maybe diamonds up there. So that stuff's kind of all in the same area. And I might move the food over to that one. I'm not sure yet. Just kind of playing around with it, organizing it the way I want type thing. And I was a derp and forgot, it, forgot to start my timer. So just give me one second. Totally unprepared. Sorry, guys. There we go. But anyways, this episode, I have a project to work on. I've been preparing a little bit for it. There's some stuff in my inventory. Oh, well, we're here. Let's grab this. I haven't grabbed this in a while, so. Grab this stuff. I just kind of grab it every time I see that all the bushes are grown. Bring it into the basement and throw it into a drawer. Oh, and I got the hiccups. Or not the hiccups, but the burps. Seems like every time I start recording, I get them. I don't know what it is. Just bad luck. So, nothing new really changed down here. Um, Nothing new over here. I did... <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. I did take a bunch of stuff out of here because I'm going to rearrange it. I got a big hole here. You guys can probably tell what I'm going to set up there. But let's go do a little bit of crafting just quickly. I had most of it done. Um, do I need obsidian for this? I want to make some B space upgrades. Oh, I need pistons. Okay, I was a little unprepared. I'm going to need at least four pistons. So that's what, four, eight, twelve pieces of wood, I think. And then I need some of this. I think I need, what did I say? Four pistons? Um, let me just grab a stack of that. So, let's make ourselves some levers. I wish the recipe for pistons was either redstone or levers, not just levers. Because then that way, once you do get to redstone, you could use redstone. Um, sorry if you guys can hear the dog barking in the background. It is my neighbor's dog. Have no control over it. Um, so four pistons. Let's put these like so. It gets us this, it gets us two B space storages. I made two of the times three storage upgrades and hopefully this is all I need for structural upgrades. Oh, I guess I need to make a tuning fork, don't I? Ender pearl and three iron, that'll be easy. Let's just grab one, one, two, three, and one. And then in this chest, oh yeah, I've got some other stuff i got to craft too. Um, let's grab all this stuff. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Go back to the table. And let's make our tuning fork first. 
Boom. I will be making more of these, but I'm going to do it off camera. I'll do it with you guys this once, but after that, any B space storage or probably pretty much anything to do with Java barrels will be done off camera for the most part. Uh, I didn't want to make 48, I only wanted to make 44. And I think it goes like this. It used up way more than I thought it was going to. I might have to roll some more iron here. Um, I did that wrong. There we go. I think I need about 8 of those, or 44 of those. Where'd my glass go? Um, ch -ch -ch. Let's just grab a whole stack of that, because I'm sure I'll use it eventually. Um, I do want to make one of these, like so. This is for the steel tanks, by the way. I already made the iron tank ones, but I want to make a steel tank for this project. And I have some dire wolves, like, right behind me somewhere. Please don't attack me. Oh, 16, that gives me 40, so one more craft gives me 48. I think that is good. Um, oh, you guys bugged me. Okay, um... So, let us put one of these barrels right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, these, this, and let's get this off the hotbar because I don't need it right now. This on the hotbar. We'll go right here, fire essence, and the barrel. We'll go fire essence, barrel. Put the B space on first, that way I know they're on. Nope, don't have enough slots. Can I uncraft these back? Oh, I can too. Sweet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill up the remaining spots. Oh, I could only put one on there. But I put two upgrades on there. That should have gave me five slots. Give me those back. Because level one gives you two slots. Oh no, it only gives you one slot. Oh, and those are bronze. No, thank you. Um, This should be good enough for now, hopefully. If I need to upgrade it, I'll do it later. Um, so let's... How do I use this thing again? Shift right click. And shift right click. There we go. So those are linked now, and I should have a dolly somewhere. Is it in this bag? Oh, yes it is. But we're going to leave... Oh, no, we can bring that over here. Let's bring that over here. Oh, please be no wolves in here. Oh, thank you. Okay, so for right now, we're just going to leave it right there so it's not slowing us down while we're building this tank. I think what I want to do is put some of this on the hot bar. And the glass tank walls we're going to drop down here. I'm going to put one valve in the middle of the bottom just because of reasons <laughs> and then we're gonna surround that with glass i know there used to be a bug in like 164 that if you put it in the middle something bad would happen i can't remember exactly what it was but i think that's been fixed it should have you would think this is 17 now so no that's not where you go i hope i counted these right too by the way And then we're going to put a bunch like so. Give 
like so. Where's the back of the room? Right there. Um, so let's go like this. And like this. And like this. You guys have probably seen how to put a tank together. I probably did this off camera. But I figured, why not? I do mostly questing and crafting with you guys. Maybe you guys would like to see me set something up for once. Um, that's the front of the room. And then let's put this here. Um, let's break that with a pickaxe just to be safe. And I put one here and I wasn't supposed to because I want this one to be a valve. So let's put a valve right there. And put these like so. Come step in the corner. Put these here. And... Ooh, I only got five left. Um... Let's put a valve there too, just in case. Actually, no, because I gotta craft more of these anyways, so. Um, we need one more craft of them, I think. And I'm totally doing that wrong. Come on, I just crafted these. I couldn't have forgot the recipe already, could I? There we go. That'll give me eight. So yeah, I only need to craft it one more time because I only need nine. Well, I didn't need nine, but it takes nine to fill the top. So and I had four. So oh, that's not cool. I got dire wolves howling in the game, and I got dogs barking in the background. This is an awesome video, you guys. that there did I get hopefully there's nothing in there we'll find out in a minute because if it doesn't form it means there's something in the wrong place and we have ourselves a steel tank that holds what is that four million buck million buckets four million milli buckets and can you guys guess what this is gonna be for probably <laughs> Um, so now what I want to do is I put my hammer away. Hammer time. Um, let's just dig a little hole down here like so. And like so. Um, this will probably eventually be another basement or something. Just don't know what I want to do about it yet, so. And of course, I left everything upstairs. Um, let's go like this, like this, like this. And we'll put one of you there. I can jump at least two blocks, so as long as. Oh, bad times. Bad times. Oh yeah, water elevators with no air. Not a good plan. Oh, come on. I hate water elevators. That's why you'll never see me use water elevators in skyblocks. Unless I absolutely have to. Um, I should probably put a torch down here. And let's go out here and check our six. And I want two of these and one of these. And I also want this. And the rest should be in my yellow bag. Come on, flag spike right there. Um, so let's grab some of this. One of these. Oh, I don't have an engine. 
<laughs> oh, we only need one of those. And, oh yeah, I did change one thing over here. I've been pumping the seed oil into one of these tanks. I just hooked it up with a wood extraction pipe and a redstone engine. But we're going to steal this redstone engine. I did not mean to do that. Let's take this. We'll throw you on the ground for a minute. Where'd my tank go? Give me my tank back. Um, tank? Give me, oh, there it is. Whew! That scared me for a minute. Okay, so now we're gonna come down here and maybe just set this up here for right now. I can always, oh, no, I did that wrong. I can always change this after once I get like a better floor plan laid out down here or whatnot. And then we need the tank underneath it. I want to put the hopper on this side. Oh, what if I put this to auto eject? I might not even need to put a fluid pipe on it or an ex redstone engine. Let's find out. Um, let's bring this down here, and put this right there. This thing should start filling up with lava essence, or essence of fire. Melting point is 1200. Um, let's help this thing out a little bit. Inventory is full. Yes, I know I dropped some coal on the ground, but I'm not too worried about it. <sighs> Grab some coal blocks. And throw them in here. These will take priority over the lava. Oh, this isn't going to work the way I wanted it to. So what I wanted it to do was I want it to hit this tank first. So that way it keeps this tank always full. And then I was going to run it back up the wall. We could do something like this. It'll look a little bit funny, but I can always, like I said, move this stuff around later. Not a big deal. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, well, this thing is going to take a while to warm up. It's the only thing I don't like about this. I could probably hook this up to a smeltery. Because I'm pretty sure this stuff will melt in a smeltery. Let's find out. I'm probably going to regret this though. Well, it's heating up and it looks like it will melt. So... If I wanted to, I could put another smeltery down here, like a little maybe one by one or a two by two, and just have it go that way. But then I would have to pump it out for sure. I think the way this is set up, it will auto pump out, but we'll have to wait and see. So while we're waiting for that to warm up, let us clean out our inventory a little bit. Um, I just want a random chest to dump stuff into. And I will worry about sorting it out later. Even though I always say that and hardly ever sort my stuff back out. So we'll just dump all of this good stuff in here. I don't need for the mow. And 
let's take a look at the questing book because I have done a little bit of stuff. I showed you guys a little preview in here. I made the combustion engine. This is for the next part of that quest. I accidentally made a low pressure boiler. I didn't mean to actually craft it. I was just trying to um, get it ready to craft, but it just takes two plates to make one of these. So very easy to do. Um, I'm probably not going to craft all the low pressure ones. I think I want to go for high pressure boiler. Let's see. Boiler. Yes. Um, the high pressure ones are made from steel plates and the low pressure are made from iron plates. So I will probably go for the high pressure one. You, um... Get a little bit more out of it, I'm pretty sure. Like this one only produces 10 millibuckets per steam or per tick, and this one produces 20 per tick. So, um, and I do plan on building a 9 by 9. So, let's see fire box, solid fuel fire box is what they want us to craft. So, we'll craft. I thought I had enough to craft nine of them, but I only have enough to craft seven of them. Um, I will craft the other two off camera and get them ready for next episode. Because next episode we might be setting this up. I don't want to say for sure or not yet. Um, the other recipe I had sitting in there is for a refinery. Which goes something like so. These tanks are made from eight pieces of glass. Very easy. Diamond gear is easy. So. And that gets us a refinery. Oh, we got some fireworks indoors. Woo! It's been a while since we have fireworks. Cool. Uh, um, let us take a look in here now and see what's going on. We have two quests ready for completion. Not a lot. Like I said, I'm trying to stay away from the quest, but I still got to do a few of them every now and then with you guys, so you guys don't think I'm cheating or something. I guess. I don't know. Oh, there's something else we got to make in this one. They want us to make a commercial steam engine. So, feely or steely resolved. Um, wanted us to craft one of each of the steel. Oh, they got us 24 steel tank walls. Um, I should have really looked at that before I set it up. Um, this one, what did we have left? We just needed to craft a combustion engine, and this says, finally, to generate power, you will need to get into, get the oil into the combustion engine along with some water to help cool it. So, that was for that. Um, I'm guessing this is four buckets, or four tanks of oil, plus we get three more combustion engines and then down here oh I need to make a bucket of fuel in order to complete this one so but the first part of this task was to craft a refinery second part is going to be to make a fuel bucket and I'm pretty sure this is just telling you that crude oil is all well and good but um, fuel will get you a better source of power and I'm guessing this is four tanks of fuel. So, and two more refineries. I Like I said, I don't know if I want to go that route. Because there's no really good way of transporting liquids over a long distance. So, I don't know if I actually want to go that route. Let's see what it takes to make um, a commercial steam engine. Maybe we'll craft that. <clears throat> it wants a commercial. That's an industrial. Oh, the industrial gets you 80 RF per tick. Uses 40 buckets of steam per tick. So, basically, if I were to make one of those high-pressure boilers, was it? Oh, no, it was only 20. So, I would need two outputs in order to supply this. We might be making more than one steam boiler. Commercial is three plates. 
some glass, a piston, and two iron gears. So, the way I've been making gears seems how we're doing this. Oh, and I got two steel plates in my inventory. I need three, though. So, I need four of these and four of these. No, I need five of those. So, I'm going to make one more piston. Um, I dumped a bunch of junk into this chest over here. Do we have enough to make a piston? We have two pieces of wood in there. Quite enough. So we'll grab another log. I'm getting low on spruce wood. I'm going to have to go cut those trees down that I have out there. Um, let's grab a lever out of here and some of this and come on one more of these and we'll make a lever can't wait to get ae so i can just auto craft all this stuff but from the looks of it it's going to be pretty end game to get into that once i get those lasers it'll make it a little bit easier and I still have to go to the nether and collect that set of ores that is required. Um, diamond. What else was there? Ardite and emerald. The emerald, I haven't seen any emerald ore in the nether. So that one's probably going to take me the longest to find, in all honesty. Grab a piece of glass. Oh, I didn't craft my gears yet. Let's do that quickly. So if you take four pieces of tin, it will get you two tin gear bushings from rail craft. And this just avoids having to do the wood to stone to iron steps. That's why I go about it this way. Like, I'm not that desperate for resources that I need to make all my gears out of wood and stone and then all that. Um, I don't really use tin for much right now, and I think I have quite a bit of it, so I'm not too worried. So we got two iron gears, a piston, oh, wrong spot. Um, three plates, and a piece of glass. There we go. Commercial steam engine. Did that complete the quest for us? Yes, it did. And we get 16 golden pipes and two machinists. Cool. Um, did that say whether or not it unlocked something elsewhere? I did unlock under pressure, and this is going to be to make a liquid fueled boiler or firebox, high pressure boiler, and an industrial steam engine. So I'm pretty sure this is pretty much the same. Oh, that gets us three of these and seven of those. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, so. Let's just take a look. I want to double check this. We had um, high pressure. Yeah, this produces 20. So that industrial um, steam engine would require two of these blocks in order to produce enough steam to keep it running at 80 rf per tick um fire box what's required to craft this oh pretty much steel furnace some iron bars and a bucket so i will craft some of that off camera because like i said i rather oh no i don't know if i want to go with fired or liquid fueled because hmm. I don't really have any way of automating the fire essence. And that would probably mean expanding it into a bigger field. Um, I'm 
Yeah, I don't know. I'll play around with it off camera and see what I want to do about it. This thing's still not hot enough. Oh, it's almost there. So we will wait and see if this is going to work the way I want it to. If not, I'm just going to pop a wood pipe on there, which I don't have in my inventory anymore. And just put a redstone engine behind it with a lever on it. This should be... Can I ignore? Yes, I can. Come on, 59, 60. 63, 64. 30 more to go. Less than 30. Hopefully this works the way I want it to, because then I don't have to worry about putting an engine on it. And then, yeah, I can just grab, like, I could close this all up and just grab fire essence and dump it into that barrel over in my storage. And whatever goes into that barrel will read in this barrel, so... That is really cool. I'll probably use quite a few beast space barrels, actually. Come on, you gotta be close. Oh yeah, you're melting down, but you are not coming out. I bet you if I put it right beside this valve, I could get it to auto-eject in there. Oh no, it is working. Cool. But it's not filling this up first. Well, that kind of sucks. I don't even see it running through the pipe. It says there's like 13 buckets in there. Thirteen ninety two. Oh, I seen a little bit in there. Hmm. Um, pipe. Let's see. Diamond. Where's all the fluid pipes? Let's see what we got for fluid pipes. We got a wooden fluid pipe. We got cobblestone. We got stone, quartz, iron valve pipe, extraction pipe, sorts fluids, only connects to other pipes, and a void pipe. Thought a quartz pipe did something special. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some research. That did go up a little bit, but it seems like most of it's going in here. So maybe I could use that valve on the bottom, pump it out, and pump it into the bottom of the tank instead. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play around with it. But that system is working. We have lava in our tank. We don't have very much. But we do have some, which is a plus. So, but with that, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. Helps me out a lot. Helps my channel grow. Um, gets me out there. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let you guys know when I have new content out. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.